my name is Natasha Tracy and this is Breaking Bipolar for Healthy Place. Today I want to talk about my relationship with anger. So I have bipolar disorder and people with bipolar disorder, statistically speaking, are more aggressive than the average population. Now in my case, whether I feel aggressive or not, I don't show it. And that's because I'm actually terrified of anger. So in my family, when I was growing up, anger was a very scary thing. It didn't tend to be under control, and when it happened, it really scared me as a child. And it even scared me as a teenager, quite frankly. Um, and so now I've sort of internalized that and said that anger is bad and you shouldn't feel anger, and more specifically, if you do feel anger, you definitely should not show it outwardly. So even though I know that many people with bipolar disorder do have anger issues in that they externalize their anger, I actually have anger issues in that I internalize my anger. I, it's not that I never feel it, although admittedly I'm not a very angry person so I don't feel it very often, but when I do feel it, I certainly don't show it. There are inherent issues with not showing your anger, of course. One of them is not dealing with real feelings. So for me, if I ignore that I'm angry and I just stuff it down, I stick it in a box in a closet, lock the closet, um, then I'm not really dealing with how I'm really feeling. And of course, that's going to come and bite me later on. It always does. You can't escape your feelings. Um, so for me, that's the challenge that I have with anger, is actually feeling it and dealing with it in a way that doesn't harm me or anyone else. My name is Natasha Tracy, and this is Breaking Bipolar.